Hi again there guys, I'm here from Paint and Pino and in today's video I'm going to show you how to paint these gorgeous roses simply using a spoon coming up. So no palette knife today guys, we're going to put this to the side instead and we're going to go simply with this spoon. In fact, the smaller the spoon you have, the better. Now we're actually going to be adding impasto medium. You can buy this from an, any art shop or you can make it yourself. I'll leave a video below, um, a link where I've actually made some homemade pasto. So you can see how I'm just mixing some basic white here with the cool red. I've got some cool yellow and warm blue for later for the leaf design, but we're simply going to start with making the roses. You'll notice the spoon I'm using here, guys, is actually quite a small spoon. It's one of those little starter spoons you can purchase. It just gives me a little bit more control. So the way I want to start my roses is by simply doing the focal point, by getting that lovely swirl. So lots of thick impasto paint here, guys. Remember, if you are using acrylic paint rather than oil, it tends to be a bit looser. That's why we add the impasto gel, just to make it a little bit more uh, sort of consistency, a little bit thicker, so that it really does stick off the page. So the thicker you have with your paint, the easier this technique is going to be. So the leaf techniques, I'm just simply trying to drag and use the actual shape of the spoon to generate the shape of the leaf as well. And it's important we add a little bit of sort of dynamic colors. So I'm just having a bit of white going through there to really mix up some of those tones. Don't be afraid as well, guys, to actually go over each leaf. You do want them to be nice and thick. And sometimes the definition I find I've struggled with a little bit. So for example here, it's quite tricky because my wrist is not bending the natural way I want it to bend. So I might just have a little second go over there just to try and get that lovely sharp edge. And as with everything with art and design guys, it's all about practice. The more you try, the more leaves you do, the easier you're going to find the technique. You might find certain colours work more effectively for you. I just really like the red and the white working together to get that lovely tonal red rose. So now you've got an idea of the technique, I'm just going to repeat this um, probably four or five times to really build up the composition of my painting.
leaves guys I'm just simply mixing the green by mixing the cool yellow and the warm blue together of course adding a little bit of that impasto as well now, this is a little bit tricky because I want to try and get those stalks as thin as I can so I'm just using the very edge of the spoon like you would with a palette knife and then for the leaves themselves it's the exact same technique that you did for the rose just trying to get a nice sharp edge and again making sure you've got some contrasting colors of those blues and yellows so they're not just flat green And then finally, just to finish off guys, I've actually gone to the brush just to get that fine detail. Um, I really want to try and get some nice darker leaves underneath the rose and it's going to be too difficult trying to achieve that with the, uh, the spoon. And never be afraid to mix up media. So if you're using a palette knife, don't think you've got to stay with just a palette knife. It's all about making it easier for you to actually paint rather than setting yourself a challenge. And then the very last technique I'm going to do here guys is simply just exaggerate that swirl. So I've gone with just white. I really want to try and get that gorgeous swirl rose effect because that's what makes these appear like roses. And there you have it.